Hello friends, and in this video, I will tell you and demonstrate a test tool. Which will help you rid your garden crops of slugs. And first of all, it will be a kind of slug hunt. Because they hide in the shadows all day. Because the sun's rays are deadly to them. And so, after spending the whole day in a shelter, they go hunting. Namely, eat your plants. And we should also not waste time hunting slugs. Most recently, I released a video on how to protect your garden crops with baits. As you can see, it still works, and collects a lot of slugs. And I also used lime. I'll leave a link to this video in the upper right corner. Be sure to check it out. Lime and beer, this is a very effective remedy. As you can see on this cabbage that I fenced with lime. There are still no slugs. But in the comments below that video. My subscribers recommended me to hunt slugs in the evening, with a very effective tool. And now I will demonstrate how it works. And if you also have effective tips, then write them in the comments below this video. This bed was never sprinkled with lime and as you can see, there are a lot of slugs. By evening, they were very hungry, and the whole crowd attacked my cabbage. And I will use regular, pharmacy, ammonia. 10%. A bottle with a volume of 100 milliliters. We will also need a small sprayer. With a volume of 1 pint, and now I will demonstrate how well ammonia works. I use poke not diluted, I completely pour it into the sprayer. That's how much it turned out. And look I do a couple of sprays on slugs, they are immediately cool, believe. They turn green, exfoliate, and die in seconds. I'll show you more. As you can see, they died immediately, and a couple of drops are enough to get on the slugs. You don't need to spray as much as I do. I show this in the video. You need to use ammonia more economically. I also sprayed late cabbage, early cabbage, melons, watermelons, and cucumbers. And if you spray not diluted with amyak, then only on early cabbage, burns appear on the leaves. Where the ammonia got in. But when I diluted the ammonia 1 to 10 per 100 milliliters of ammonia, I added 1 liter of water. And also sprayed all the plants that had slugs on them. Then there were no burns on the early cabbage, and look at the slugs, they also fall, they are just as steep, they believe and they immediately die. Therefore, from my own experience, I want to recommend that you use 10% ammonia dissolved with water 110. Thus, it is enough to fight a rich number of slugs. And you won't harm your plants. It is enough just to go out in the evening for a few days, when the sun is already setting. On your garden, sprinkle the beds on which there are slugs. And I do it in two rounds. I start with one bed, spray it, and go to the others. Then, when I've sprayed everything, I go back to the first one. Because the sun is still setting, it's getting cooler and darker outside. More slugs get out on the beds, they like to climb to the very top of plants. And there they are. Therefore, a new batch will do, and I also spray it with this product. And so I do for a few more days. And I can tell you that I kill at least 90% of slugs. And the more slugs you destroy now, the fewer offspring they will lay next year. So from year to year, there will be practically no slugs in your garden beds. And why practically, because there are still neighbors who do not do this. Slugs can crawl up to you from their vegetable gardens. But after watching this video, and the previous one, you will know how to protect your plants in advance. And also how to destroy slugs if they still attack your plants. Therefore, if the information in this video was useful, be sure to like it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the release of new videos. I wish you a good day. See you soon for new videos.